Hello, welcome back. Right, here we go. Um, the September 1987 issue of Crash Magazine, which was number 44, priced for a quid. Um, yet again, another fantastic um, magazine cover here. Now, you know the score with all these. Um, please, 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 um, as I go through the magazine, if you have any memories or recollections of any of the games uh, included within, please shout them up in the comment section down below. Um, as you can see, um, we've no carpet. And I'm having to stand this sort of upright so I can read it, because if I lay it down flat, the overhead spotlights that we've now got in here just um, create an awful amount of glare off the, uh, the shiny pages. So anyway... Um, yeah, let's dive in. Uh, the Renegade cover of uh, Crash. I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. Right, so we go in and we get um, an advert for Solomon's Key, a conversion um, from US Gold. Hang on, let me just open my Coke, um, which is a really, really fantastic game. I've always enjoyed Solomon's Key. It did get a sequel called Fire and Ice, which was um, on the NES only, but... Um, a conversion of it was made in the early 2000s uh, for the Spectrum, and it really is fantastic. The Spectrum clones, the um, the Pentagram um, Scorpion uh, clones, etc. There is a playlist, uh, sorry, there is a feature of Fire and Ice for the Spectrum in my channel. So what I'll do is I'll link down below um, to that video, and you can go and check that out. And please, uh, your memories of Solomon's Key. So some of the pages are a bit um, knackered on this one. Um, Adverts for Arkanoid, Slap Fight, Game Over, with uh, you know her errant nipple now covered by the Imagine logo, and Army Moves, um, all fairly successful games, I think. Um, Slap Fight suffered with the old difficult um, to see bullets on the specky. Game Over and Army Moves, <laughs> it's really, really difficult. And Arkanoid is Arkanoid. Um, advert for Death Wish 3, one of my favourite games on the spectrum. It's just mindless fun. Um, again, have done a video both of just the spectrum version and um, the Commodore 64, BBC, sorry, BBC, Amstrad and spectrum versions side by side. Again, go and check them out if you wish to. Great game. I always enjoyed Death Wish 3. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, editorials... Uh, da, 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 da. PCW um, show sort of expose or reportage if you know what I mean Yogi Bear game sort of down there oh what's that what's Clive advertising there uh, I don't some kind of TV thing I don't think I've ever seen that one though uh, do any of you ever have the Sinclair TV um always uh, looks pretty sweet to me uh, da, da, da. advert for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom the arcade conversion from um, US Gold based on the Atari game I never really enjoyed that there was a Last Crusade game as well um <laughs> Which uh, was okay. I had that on the uh, Master System rather than on the Spectrum, though. Um, but it seemed uh, seemed to be okay from memory. And there never was a Raiders of the Lost Ark game until a couple of years ago. Luca Bordoni um, ported Raiders of the Lost Ark, the Atari 2600 version, to the Spectrum. And it really is quite a, a good achievement. Now, again, I will link in the um, description box down below to that original video of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark and if you want to play it the download link to Luca's website is there just so you can see that it does exist on the spectrum but yeah right so let's go in even further advert for F15 Strike Eagle now this page has taken a bit of a battering and um, that's my fault Jeff didn't send this to me in this condition uh, advert for Rebel that is a really um entertaining deflector style uh, game from virgin by the gang of five really bright colorful vivid graphics but it's really quite tricky as well um and it's one of the few occasions when i've actually sort of broken my own sort of rule of not looking at youtube uh, walkthrough videos of um or play playthrough videos but i had to on that one just to sort of see how well or sorry to see how to um, play the game because i didn't have a clue uh, mercenary uh, from Novagen. The Spectrum version was written by David Aubrey-Jones. 
Um, and I believe this was incredibly uh, well received. As you can see, it's a Crash Smash. It's a game I've never played. Um, there were several sequels, I believe, on the C64. I don't know if the Spectrum got any of those. Uh, then we have Mayhem from The Powerhouse, which uh, it's hard to sort of make out from those screenshots what kind of game it is. And they didn't really like it. So there's uh, Mercenaries 96% and there's Mayhem's 42%. So a bit of a stark difference on the same page. Turning over, we have Slingshot from Steve Cargill. Kind of like a scramble sort of type shooter. Um... I think the powerhouse was that CRL's um, sort of budget label. They didn't really uh, go for that one, 34%. Oriental Hero, um, they've actually, by giving this game only 30%, that's one of the kindest reviews I think uh, Crash has, has ever done. That is an over-the-top score because that game is absolutely abysmal. It's um, the follow-up to Ninja Master from uh, Tron Software and where... Ninja Master is a bad game. It at least has some semblance of playability in it. Oriental Hero is just outstandingly shit. Um, so bad, it's one of those games that you have to play it yourself to actually see how crap it actually is. It is abysmal. Right, okay, we've got an advert for six pack there. So let's try and get the um, Mirasoft advertised Moonstrike. That's a bit of a bizarre um, sort of poster label poster um, picture oh she looks happy as ever doesn't she uh advert for survivor sorry review of survivor from us gold uh pretty average game by the look of things 70 percent, not too bad not too great um again shout up championship basketball from uh game star Never played any of the basketball games on the um, Specky. In fact, I think I've only ever played um, one basketball game ever, and that would have been one of the NBA jams when they have a snares, and I can't remember which one um, it was. But if you had this game, um, it's from a software house. I don't even recognise the name, GameStar. Um, but it seems to be... It looks all right, but 37% um, score so would, would suggest otherwise. Rockman from Alligator... Uh, fairly nice um, sort of bold graphics there and how did Rockman do 57 so again pretty sort of average um, 10 pin challenge from Atlantis uh, da, 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 da. oh dear they didn't like that 26% look that one's a bit of a pup oh dear again I've said this before I love looking through these old magazines because there were so many games released on the spectrum there's always um, bound to be some that you've never heard of uh, or don't remember have any recollection of and each mag not just crash but each um, issue of magazines um, that I sort of look through is exactly the same you know there's always loads of games I didn't know now Rhino um, produced Z or Z uh, a bit of a strange retail price that £4.99 they used to either be like 6 99 7 99 $8.99 or, or $9.99. $4.99 is a, a price I don't think I've ever seen before. Um, right, and, you know, it doesn't seem like it was uh, worth that money. Uh, last mission from US Gold. Uh, data, sorry, a conversion of Data East Arcade game. Uh, no, that didn't fare great either. Advert for Exelon um, by Raphael um, Checo or Keco. Uh, really, really great game that. I like that. And as opposed to some of his other games, it's not as hard. So it's easier to get into. Whizball, um, one of Ocean's more famous games. I've got that. And when I get back to doing three-way reviews, um, that is going to be one of the games that I feature. Uh, Mission Jupiter by Derek Brewster, who of course was also the um, Adventure Games reviewer for Crash. Uh they didn't like this game that he produced. He actually wrote quite a few games and appears to um, not be um, contactable anymore. There's not much um, information about Derek Brewster, I don't think, which is a shame because, you know, he contributed quite a few games, Codename Matt, um, amongst others. Um, so he wasn't just um, a journalist. The Fifth Quadrant from Bubble Bus. 
kind of um, isometric style game. Again, didn't fare too well. Destructo or the Islands of Doctor Destructo um, by Bulldog, um, well released by Bulldog uh, by Eugene Messina. Now I have played this before. Um, lots and lots and lots of people really enjoy this game. Uh, I when I played it, I got it the wrong way round. I thought you were supposed to be protecting the ship as opposed to um, destroying it. So I couldn't work out why I was failing all the time and the ships were always sinking. Um, but there we go. A really, really great game, and the Amstrad version is really good as well by the look of things. Um, and I keep meaning to get around to checking them out together. Now, they didn't like it, but apparently it's a fantastic two-player game. And this just goes to show that you can't always believe what you say, what you read in the press. So look at that. That is 38% that they um, give the game overall. Now, I've played the game, and it definitely isn't 38%. Um, bad. Now, when you look at some of the the sort of inaccuracies or in the um, consistency of some of the the review scoring uh, throughout the magazines, something like that that is actually a really good playable game gets absolutely caned. Um, that would have affected its sales, etc. But a game like Renegade Three, one of the worst games and worst sequels going, gets a crash smash. Hmm. Think about that. So Dawnsley, like a kind of Gauntlet type game game from. Um, Top 10, that gets 19%, doesn't look too bad. Hybrid, even though it got 19%. Hybrid from um, Starlight Software, never heard of them. Uh, duh, duh, duh. That looks confusing, uh, 48%. Advert for the, for the first Joe Blade game, there were about three, I do believe, and I've never played any of them. But they've always had a really nice, um, fun graphical style, I thought. Um, and they seem to be popular enough. And I think, is it the first one that's got the Pac-Man game that you can play while it's loading? I know one of them has. Uh, Streaker from Bulldog. Oh, right, okay. Uh, they didn't like that one either. 38%. Oh. Adverts for yeah, the Battle of Guadalcanal, which was released by who released that? Activision. Never played war games, never really got them. Renegade, um, absolutely fantastic game on the spectrum, and it doesn't get a crash smash. It gets one percent short. Now I remember there being all sorts of um, uproar about match day not getting a crash smash, and. I believe this is up there with um, injustices, uh, especially when, again, like I said earlier, you consider that its um, second sequel, Renegade 3, got a crash mash. It's absolutely hopeless, that game. Um, Target Renegade, the first sequel, is, is of course, one of the, the best games ever. Um, but, yeah, this is still ultra playable today. It's an absolutely cracking arcade conversion on the spectrum especially the 128k version where you get the extra move the over the shoulder throw and the music um right so here we've got oh uh, the letters page lord mangram's forum personal computer world show advert i think we missed that uh lads Lads and ladies. advert for mask never played any of the mask games Zor, never played Zor. Uh, right, um, double page advert, sorry, double advert for um, Palace Games, Barbarian, one of my favourite games, and Stiff Lip & Co, which is a game that has always intrigued me because it's always looked quite unique and original, but I've never got around to playing it yet. So did you um, play Stiff Lip & Co? I know it got a crash smash. Um, what were your thoughts of it? Here we have a feature on the Spectrum version of Mercenary, um, coded by David Aubrey Jones. Uh, there we go. Uh, advert for Bubble Bubble, a, another one of my favourite games ever. The last mission, as we saw, that didn't uh, review too well. Uh, war games, war games, we don't do war games. 
advert for the NES with the Rob um, device machine. Did you have one of them? Then we go on to our playing tips. Uh, tips for Wonder Boy, Barbarian, map for Vampire. Oh, come on. The Curse of Sherwood, another Derek Brewster game. Uh, Master Tronic 199 Special. It's not too bad, that game. It's not fantastic, but again, it's not great. It's, sorry, it's not fantastic, but it ain't um, terrible. Uh, Scepter of Baghdad, Void Runner, Ghost Hunters. That wasn't a bad game. Uh, preview or advert for the Games Machine. Got all those um, that they intended to feature. And there's a feature on the Games Machine. Uh, Julian Rignall down there. Lovely haircut. Um, is a star glider that looks like? Screenshots of? Yeah. Uh, Love lift us up where we belong. I won't do that again. I apologise. Um, advert for Gunship from Microprose. I have that. The manual for it is um, fucking huge. Once you've actually read it, you'll actually be able to fly a real helicopter. Custard's Quest uh, from the Powerhouse. Uh, gets a Crash Smash, an adventure game. Star Wreck uh, from Alternative. That gets 73% uh, Masters of the Universe Adventure Game. I never actually realised there was a Masters of the Universe Adventure Game. 84% uh, Homicide Hotel. Oh, I won't be staying there. Um, only if they've got free Wi-Fi. 84%. Oh, dear. Um, we get uh, this bit. Do, do, do. Piranha Adverts or Competition. Um, play by mail stuff. Uh, again, I never knew anyone that did. Oh, new magazine slipping there. That did any of the um, play by mail stuff, but it seems to have been popular back in the day. A feature on the Sega Master System. Huh. Had one of them. Didn't have a NES. Had a Master System instead. Uh, my backside has gone to sleep sitting on this um, air mattress. I'm Touching the floorboards, if you know what I mean. We're in a bubble, 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 bubble arcade machine. Now, I wonder which person was lucky enough to win that competition and whether or not they still have said machine. There's the uh, iconic Jetman um, cartoon, the monthly um, serial. Tech niche stuff. Again, didn't understand any of it. Do, do, do. The Crash Charts, the Hotline Top 20, some great games in there. I would say my pick out of those would be Quasitron. I really enjoyed that. Sorry, there's some fuckwit just driven past and his blinged up fucking 1.2 Renault Clio. Um, Gauntlet was really good. Um, Quasitron, yeah, like I said, I, I really had a, a lot of fun with that game. And that's a really strong Top 20. Uh, crash challenge for Mikey, it looks like, um, where a reader takes on one of the um, reviewers. And I actually featured on the Arcade Part Perfect podcast when we discussed all the various, ver various versions of uh, Mikey a couple of months ago. And the Spectrum version um, fares really well in, um, in that uh, collection. Advert for Mercenary, Educational Software, Advert for Go Software, uh, Quilled Until Dead, what's that all about? I might read that later, that actually sounds really interesting. And finally, um, some uh, art, some screen um demonstration stuff it's Kerry Grant North by Northwest thing there there's some fantastic artists for the spectrum back in the day um, as these uh, sort of demo screens show really really nice you wouldn't think the spectrum struggled all that much with um, color um, issues but um, there we go in the right hands it could do anything oh there's a couple more 
Ah, there we go. A couple more reviews. Stiff Flip and Co. Um, getting a crash mesh. Now, I've always loved the way this game looked, but never got around to actually giving it a whiz. Uh, it just looks great. That sort of comic strip presentation style um, thing. Sidewise. Don't know that one. The Tube. I've got about nine copies of that game. 47%. It's not a bad little game. Flunky. Um, a Don Priestley uh, production. Released by Piranha. Oh, I've got to be careful here because I've got to get a bit of glare. Oh no, let's stand it up like that. Yeah, a again, sort of iconic um, style of graphics uh, that he had. Um, Benny Hill, Trapdoor. Gregory loses his clock. Uh, what else am I missing? Um, some really great um, games. And this one is quite playable. Um, again, I struggle with puzzles and stuff, but it's really um, quite a fun game. Game Over, um, which we saw at the beginning. They weren't too um, impressed with that, but it's a really good-looking game. It's just really hard. Satcom by Atlantis. Don't know it. Uh, what score did that get? 50% GFL Championship Football. Uh, some decent enough graphics there, but what did it score? 40%, so below average. Uh, uh, da -da, right, Soft and Cuddly um, from the Powerhouse. One gory, gory game. Um, I think this is the one that came with a sick bag and some fake blood capsules. I've seen a couple of uh, videos of it in the past. can't actually remember whose channel it was they were on. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think it scored fantastically well. can't see that. What's it got? 55%. Now, here we go. Batty um, on the six-pack volume two um, thing. Now, this was originally a cover tape. For your Sinclair as well, but it was um, given away. And um, this is one of Rod Bell's favourite, Vivalord Lord Such's favourite Spectrum games ever. He absolutely adores Batty. Um, and they did not give it a crash smash. It got 85%. Sacrilege, I think. Sacrilege, because that is an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, advert for the tube. Various adverts. Uh, competition winners. Previews of how to be a complete bastard. I think that game goes for quite a bit um, nowadays if you manage to get hold of it. Uh, what's that? Uh, that doesn't look like how to be a complete bastard. Oh, Deviants from Players. Oh. Bubble Bubble. Um, that's clearly not the Spectrum screenshots. Trantor. Mm, game. Uh UCM Ultimate Combat Mission. I have that several times. Um, and again, not got round to um, sort of playing it. The Terminal Man uh, cartoon strip. And then finally an advert for Tank from Ocean. Right, so that was issue number 44, uh, September 1987 for, uh, of Crash Magazine. Please um, feel free to um, leave your... Uh, memories or comments down in the uh, well in the comments section down below um thanks ever so much for watching if you like the video please let me know if you wish to subscribe please do so but if you do subscribe please 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 take the time to join in with the conversation because that's what it's all about okay thanks ever so much for watching take care of yourselves goodbye